morning. Did you catch the maze mountain in the background there? Um, it's still to be pushed up. There's um, three more loads to go on. So, um, yeah, so that's going to get pushed up, sheeted down. I'm tired today. It's two, been two very long days. Um, we've got a lot of cattle to get out today as well for tomorrow, I think. So, um, yeah, it's going to be busy again. So, um, stay tuned. If you like these sorts of videos, remember to press like and subscribe because it really helps us grow our channel and show more people what we do um, every day in farming, really, like as an industry. So, anyway, on to uh, feeding some cows. Yeah, that is uh, tall. It looks like it's nearly as tall again as the panels. Maybe not quite, but... That's, I think that's the most maze we've ever had. Morning, Andy. Can you see what's happening behind? Morning. No, I haven't yet. They've uh, taken the harvesters there by the looks of it through the gaps. So we're on feeding round. We've got the 7 uh, seven two Zebo. Yeah. 720, is it? Is that what you call them in a fen? Still in the yard because we still need to push that. This clamp up. So we've um, got the mixer on, and yeah, we're short on space now, ain't yard. We've got a load of traffic gold coming as well, so we're gonna have to shift the digger, I think, from there. Put that there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit tight. So I'm just letting this mix up a little bit, because we've been having a bit of trouble with it not chopping, so just letting the hay and straw chop round, and then we'll get this maze our old maze silage tipped in yeah it did plenty of work did that uh, fent yesterday pushing up and yeah it's uh, turning into a bit of a game of tetris especially when this lorry turns up with a trafford it's going to be uh, interesting sandy on the straw blower i'll get this mix tipped up so everywhere's getting strawed up and fed around. So I'll get to the end of it now. Look at that though for a mountain. He's here and we've got the guys are back, air casters are back, pushing up the clamp. Six, eight, twenty is off. a couple more loads to go in as well I'm just saying this fence it doesn't sound like it's ever working oh no it does that <laughs> <laughs> spoke too soon must be rolled all right though it's been getting up there isn't it It's coffee time! And he's just tipping off the last load. Everybody's going for the coffee. And he's going to shift this. And then um, we're going to start moving some bales out of the way. So we're removing the bales from the outside because these guys say it'll uh, leave a mess. Chris is. Making it a tight ramp there um, to move these from this side as well. The big soccer here. And he's just going to drop us off some um, road planings. And we're just sweeping up a little bit because we've got a load of traffic gold to go there. So Andy and Connor are just cleaning that. I'm just pushing this in with this bale and then moving the bales out of the way. Jeez. Mine's got balls of steel. Coming across there. Woo. So these two are just rolling it now. Base.
Hopefully you like that bit of uh, drone footage there. The yard's just about to get busier by the look of this. We got the Trafford Gold lorry here. Oh, so the big Scania's got the Trafford on it. He's going to back it along this wall and we can get that tipped off. Boost. Getting that tipped off is going to be more feed in this yard than we know what to do with. But um, now is the time to get the sheet on. Like he's taking my car. Right, now we're mountaineering to the top. And you kind of got the cling film. We'll put that on first. Oh, no idea. She's wide. She's wide. So it looks like that lorry and uh, bent her a long way down over there. I think them guys are, are going or I don't know if Mark might come and help us, who knows. Is Chris leaving us? Yeah? No, I didn't expect anything else though. <laughs> All those guys are getting a cling film. I'm going to chuck some bags in the bucket so we can actually hold it down because there's a bit of wind. And even the tiniest bit will take cling film away. So the black sheet's going on. Just be careful on that edge, Connor. And the um, cling film's already there. So this is a side sheet. So that's coming up to just past the middle. Jeez, I think it were like, how far can we get the Trafford to go? Get, yeah, your, your, um, Motorbike on it, boom, boom, boom. Right, we've just had his dinner. We've got the top sheet now to put um, to the back of the pit. But she's quite heavy. So we'll um, we'll boom it out with a bucket, just to save trying to carry it all the way to the top. That's the beauty of having a nine meter. A little bit more each. I don't like this wind. It's no good for putting these sheets on. Mark's just left with the forager and a trailer. And we're just going to get the easy sheet on now. So all the black sheets on over the top of the cling film. We've got a top sheet on over the top of the side sheets. So there's like one, two, maybe like three layers of sheets. And then um, this easy sheet on top to stop the birds pecking through and add a bit of extra weight to it. So now's the time for putting on tyres. So big track tyres we will put at the back because then um, we don't have to move them so many times. And then the smaller tyres we'll put towards the front. So the tyres are going up, we're putting some bales around the bottom edge of the pit because they'll sort of soon, uh, soon go, they will deteriorate being on the plastic but you know what, we've got a lot of bales so we can we can use them for this job. It's got fairly late on in the day, Oi, come on cheeky, and um, we've still got a lot of cattle to get out so um, yeah, it's going to turn into a, a fairly long day, I think. I'm going to try and do it before this one's limping, so we need to sort him out. So we're going to get these guys in the pen, weigh them, get their ear tag number, make sure they're an Aberdeen Angus. This one looks a big boy. Oh no, he is. So we're just going to attempt to cover the back of the pit and um, we're going to get a few more tyres up there and hang some bags from it because it's that steep that we can't think of any other way to put weight onto the, um, onto the steepness of it. So we're going to get that done. But tomorrow evening I'm going to be down in Birmingham at the British Farming Awards. So I want to say a massive thank you to um, Eternit Roofing. So they create roof sheets and um, they got some tickets for Charlotte Ashley and then they've also sorted some tickets out for me which is absolutely fantastic and um, yeah I want to yeah, be interested to talk to them and, um, and see what they're all about but it's very 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 kind of them to uh, to invite me so um, yeah I get to go to the British Family Wars again which is going to be mega because it's nice at the Vox conference thing at, um, at Birmingham near NEC so yeah it should be fun but we've got to get all this done before then and um, yeah, I think I think everybody that will be there, if they are actual farmers, 
will be um, pretty tired because all I've seen on Snapchat and different bits and not Snapchat, I don't even use Snapchat, I mean WhatsApp, um, is people like just drilling, drilling, drilling or getting amazing or things like that. So um, I think everyone will be shattered and it'll be a nice little uh, welcome break and rest for the farming community to go to, to the awards. If, uh, if, if you're going, let me know in the comments and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll say hello. Business. I was thinking about putting this tyre on and then I just had like a moment of wisdom and thought, yeah, that is not a good tyre to put on the clamp. Over the year, one of those little pieces of metal strand uh, um, could quite easily just rust off, goes straight into the feeder and as soon as it goes into the cow's stomach, it's never coming out of there, it'll probably do a lot of damage. So you know what, let's leave that tyre there, that's not going on the clamp, not worth the risk. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with it like, but uh, yeah, it, it's not going on clamp anyway, so um, yeah, moment of wisdom there. Yeah? If you've got any tyres with metal coming out of it, it's just not worth it. I need a tractor tyre, come over here. Oh. And that's what I love about the reach on the nine metre. But then, what I also hate about it, because it doesn't actually quite reach this tyre, but I might be able to just flip it over. Uh, Eddie Hearn style, is it Eddie? Eddie the Beast. Um, and get it onto the, onto the tines. Power! Yeah. I got it, the beer was easy to be honest, it was already stood up. Um, no more tyres, is there? No. Damn. For anybody offers, I do not want any more tyres. I do not want any more tyres at all. Um, no, I don't want them. <laughs> I'd rather have some... Um, them cutout tyres look good, like lorry sidewalls. They look, um, they look to be decent because you can actually carry them and they're very flat. They don't hold the water and muck in them. But um, yeah, the tyres that we use are just ones that uh, come off tractors or trailers that we've had over the years. And we just, um, yeah, use them just because we've got them. But I definitely don't want any more. That's for certain. We're just bringing things for weight now. So um, this looks like a, a good flat thing to stick on. So I'm going to put it on. It's off the lorry. So we've done about what we can with the um, clamp. We'll try and find places for buckets and stuff now. Um, we're going to start feeding round. It's that sort of time of day. You guys are so chilled. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's what Andy's had to do at the back of the clamp. Tie their socks and just hang them down. Anyway, everywhere's going to get fed now. Andy's just on doing a mix. And then we've got one of the pens who still needs a straw up, actually. Oh, we've got Mr. Pheasant here. It's nice to see. So we just strawed those guys up with a spreader bale. I should have really got some footage of it, but um, I forgot. So. <laughs> There we go, it's done. We're just tidying up the last bits of sheets before they get wet and it makes it an horrible job doing it. I think you're gonna get wet. It's coming. It's looking terrible. I'm just gonna put these ladders away that we've been using today. Um, everywhere is very dark. I mean, even in the shed is, you know, the lights are showing up. He's sorting his straw out for tomorrow. Connor is poised on the door, key in hand. He's ready. Of course, we're gonna have to weather the storm tonight. Should be right. Over the moon, though, that we've got that silage all sheeted up in the pit. Conditions were dry and yeah, just perfect, really. Connor's found himself a flag. Go on, Connor, wave it. 
Yeah, um, Peter Mays. And um, yeah, it's been good. So has the weather hit you guys yet? Um, if it has, let me know in the comments as to the state of the UK and this storm. Because we were listening to... Oh, that sounds like it needs some grease, doesn't it? Um, we were listening to radio at dinner time and it said they were wet, didn't it? Yeah. We're fine. So far. Well, <laughs> maybe a bit mentally unstable. but it's uh, the back of the car. <laughs> That agri spec, is it? Ah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. We're gonna go and, well, get warm, have some food. Yeah, Connor's eating steak. I'm on salmon today. Salmon? Yeah. It's a bit girly, isn't it, salmon, I think? But anyway, what do I know? Bye, guys.